kwa mjina naitwa Elsa. Mimi ni mkaji wa Homa Bay County hapa Koginga Beach. Hii mambo ya hii maji imetusumbua kwa kwa miaka sasa. Walituambia walituahidi tutapata maji kwa kila boma. Kwa sasa hizi hakuna hiyo maji. Kwa hizi estate zetu hakuna maji. Maji ni hii ya lake mnaona tunatumia na ni chafu takataka ikinyesha takataka zote sasa hizi unaona pale takataka ziko mingi kabisa pampa nini kila kitu iko hapa na ndio bado maji yenye tunatumia ndio tunapikia na ndio tunaweka water gun ndio tunakunyia sasa tu serikali watuambie watatusaidia kivipi jua alituambia in 100 days time tutapata maji safi baada hatujapata hiyo maji safi gladys tusaidie sisi ni watu wako my name is Dano Ketch. I'm the managing director of Homa Bay County Water and Sanitation Company, the one in charge of water provision in all urban areas in Homa Bay County. I'm talking about Homa Bay, Kindu Bay, Oyugis and Bita. And recently we have a new municipality called uh, Ndewa. In all the four municipalities we had previously, we have water provision perfectly. Uh, we have treatment plants that serve our people. For Ndewa, we have two boreholes at Sugunana and uh, Nam Forest. We are trying to encourage our people to just give us some time because it's a new municipality. We didn't have any plans for it before. Now, there have been some outcry in Homa Bay Town about provision of water in the last few weeks. I want to confirm that, yes, we've had some challenges. The challenges are very simple. On 19th of April this year, uh, we had some major works of the roads uh, at Shauriako area. Uh, the contractors contracted by Kura, I'll not mention the contractor, uh, uh, broke two main lines. Our 16-inch clear water line that comes from the lake plant going to the main tank at Kasarani um, in Arunda area to serve our people and the raw water line that comes with the raw water from the lake to Gotasego for treatment. Those two lines were broken the same day, same time on 19th. To repair these lines is expensive. You hire machines from Nairobi you hire pipes, you buy pipes. So the company is not ready to repair the lines immediately they are broken by, by, by Kura. So what we usually do is to last with them so that the contractor, they have a portion of that cost of line relocations. So the only problem we have is the gap between the approval and the emergency. You know, water repairs are emergencies anyway. If you ask our people between a good road and a provision of clear and clean water, they'll choose water and water comes before roads. So therefore, I encourage our people different government agencies to support us. When they are going to repair the lines, they should involve us, have our staff to guide them in terms of our pipeline because our staff know where the lines run. If they don't do it with us, it's a problem now. And then when they're break, broken down, please, I know probably it's an accident because the tractors are very big. The roads are, the lines are very close to the road. The designs were not, they didn't take out the road, road infrastructure before. Once this happens, they should be fast in repairing the lines. The bad news is, uh, in Shauriako, some line, uh, a road was built on top of our line in Shauriako, raw water line. From December 2022 to date, we have not been able to repair that line because we cannot dig the road. It is on the road and water is oozing on the road. So those are the challenges that we have with our different government agencies. So my, my, my plea is that this agency should work with us so that we can support our people because when I do debt collection, when I try to bill people, they don't pay for water as, as long as their types are dry. So it's, it's, it's eating into my income. It means I'm not able to provide water adequately. And the biggest challenge is our referral hospital needs water every single day. You are forced to get water from Kindu with our water bowser to serve the referral hospital. And it's extremely expensive for them and for us. So therefore, we are urging our residents, we, we just restore the lines. So water provision will be back to normalcy. But we had to intervene, including confiscating survey equipment for the Kura employees so that they can, they can act. So, and it's very unfortunate. We should not go to that extent. Yeah.